in this video we will discuss about the subtrochanteric femur fracture classification so we have one classification by the name of russell and taylor classification which is important in case of the subtrochanteric fracture it is based upon the integrity of the piriformis fossa so the uh, fracture is divided into one and two classification in one the piriformis fossa is not involved piriformis fra fracture line doesn't extend into the piriformis fossa while in two type 2 the piriformis fossa is fractured the fracture line it extends into the piriformis fossa now further these one and the two groups are divided into a and b depending upon whether the lesser trochanter is involved or not so in one a lesser trochanter is intact in one b lesser trochanter is fractured similarly in 2a lesser trochanter is intact and in 2b the lesser trochanter is fractured so this is the Russell and Taylor classification which is the only classification which is most commonly used for the subtrochanteric fractures. So another commonly seen fractures are the atypical fractures in the subtrochanteric region. Now to identify whether the this particular fracture is an atypical fracture we have some major and the minor features. So we have the five major features and we have the four minor features so out of the five major feature the four must, must be positive to classify the fracture as the atypical femoral fracture so what are these features one is it is associated with minimal or no trauma such as falling from the standing height second is that fracture line it originates from the lateral cortex and then it travels transversely and may become oblique as it progresses medially so the fracture line it will origin from originate from the lateral cortex then it will travel transversely and while reaching the medial cortex it may become oblique fracture then it is a complete fracture which will extend through the both the lateral and the medial cortex and the medial cortex may be associated with the medial spike then the fracture is non comminuted or it is a minimal comminuted fracture and also the fifth one there might be a periosteal or endosteal thickening of the lateral cortex at the fracture site so out of the five criteria or features four must be positive and we have the few minor features which is such as increase in the cortical thickness of the femoral diaphyseal region unilateral or bilateral prodromal symptoms such as dull or aching pain in the groin or thigh then bilateral complete or incomplete femoral diaphysis fracture bilateral and delayed fracture healing seen at the other fracture sites so these features it excludes the fractures of the femoral neck intertrochanteric with subtrochanteric spiral extension periprostatic fractures and pathological fractures associated with primary and metastatic bone tumors and miscellaneous bone disease, Pager's disease or fibrous dysplasia. So this is the major and the minor features. So major feature is location. It is located in the subtrochanteric region, associated with minimal or no trauma, transverse, more of a transverse fracture to begin with, associated with a medial spike, non-comminuted. And in minor feature, it, there might be a localized periosteal reaction of the lateral cortex, increased cortical thickness of the diaphysis, presence of prodromal symptoms like dull legging pain, bilateral fractures, delayed healing, comorbid conditions, and use of pharmaceutical agents such as bisphosphonates. So this is about the atypical subtrochanteric fractures.